Welcome everyone to this Spring tutorial. So today we'll practice some Spring MVC controller. So what is the role of Spring MVC controller? The role is to intercept incoming request and to interpret user input and transform it into a model. And we'll also practice some annotation used in Spring controller like path variable and request param. First of all, you have to download Spring Tools, which will be our ID and Postman. So uh, by Postman, we will send some REST requests to test our controller. So you can choose your OS just here and download it. The same for Spring Tools. First of all, let's create a new Spring Boot project. So we come here in my Spring Tools, new Spring Starter project. Here, first controller project. I'm using Java 8. Next, here I'm using this version of Spring Boot, and I have to use some dependencies. So I will check Spring Boot Dev Tools and Spring Web next finish so you can see here that my project is building and that's all my project is just here so i have the class with the main method just here to execute my program then I have an application property uh, file and I will change the port of my application. So server that port equal 6035. So my application will be running on this port. And I can start my application in this view, boot dashboard, then local. And here I have my first controller project. So I can just charge it by here. So let's create our first controller. So I will come to my package new class. So simple controller. That's all finish. So to make it more clean, I prefer to put my controller in this package, controllers. So now my controller is, is a separated package from my main class. So here I have a normal class to transform it to a con controller, I have to use the annotation REST controller. And that's all. So my class now is a controller. So now I have to create some method to specify some endpoint for my controller. So public, for example, string get result And here I will return, so test success. So here I have a normal method here to transform it to uh, an endpoint for my controller. I have to uh, add the annotation request mapping. And in this annotation, I have to give it a value for my mapping, so equal test and that's all let's test our first controller so once you download your postman application you can come here and create a new request we'll create a new project so new collection controller collection create so here I have a new collection and I will create a new request 
So add request. Simple controller project. You can give a description to your request. Save. So here I have my request just here. So first I will start my application just here local. So start the port of my application is 6035 and it's on localhost. So here HTTP 6035 then my the value of my controller is test so i have just put the address of my application then test send and here i have test success that's our first test of our spring control our first spring controller so uh, let's retrieve some students so first of all let's create a, a new class we'll come here class student finish to make it more clean i will put this class on model package so we'll move it there here so every student have some uh, name private string name so private string uh, age and private int primitive integer uh, grad so every student will have some grad then i will come here and i will generate generate some getter and setter for all my field generate and i will also generate a constructor so constructor using field name age grade and that's all i can create some student with a name an age and a grade and uh, that's all um, i think there is e yes here so i will change it every way grade here and now we are good so for example let's imagine that our um, will create another controller that will return a list of students so get all students i will just stop my application uh, ah it's already stopped okay So my method will retrieve, uh, will return some students. So here it will return a list of student. So list student. I will import the student model I have just created just here. And it will return Null just to don't uh, get any compiler compilation error. So I have to build some student. So we'll come here and create a simple method to uh, so private a simple method which creates uh, some students. So create students. and i will um, create some student just here so first i have to instantiate my list so equal new array list then i will create a first student student as one equal new student i will use the constructor with three parameter so here dave the age will be um, I have an error because normally the age is in integer 
and not so age integer and not a string So we just correct that and now we are good so here uh, I am creating a new student Dave uh, so the age will be 20 and the grad will be 15 then I will create another one another one another one now we are good So I have seven students here. We change the name. Simon and Mad Max. I don't know if Mad Max was a student or not, but I think he, uh, he will be good student in sport uh, subject. So Claire, I will change the age of each student just put some random number here and the last one yeah. then I will change the mark of the student because we'll do some um, rest call on the different mark so 10 12 9 8 7 and 11 then I will add all my students to my list so add student one then I will do the same for the six other students so here sorry for the sound of the keyboard seven and now we are good then i will return my student return students so imagine that those students you can retrieve them from from a database oracle mysql or a mongo database but but for the purpose of uh, this uh, tutorial i will just create some random student by this method so here get all students here students all that's the value of my request and here I will create student just here so I have students and I will return my student just here in my method so every time I will call my controller with this endpoint I will return all the students that's all I will come here to my um, rest to my postman and my uh, rest request and I will just put st uh, students then slash all send I will uh, I have to start my application of course So my application is started now I will get all my students sent and now I have all my students just here I have all my seven students in a JSON format and in postman you can use the format XML uh, I don't know if it's uh, reliable format but I always use JSON in Postman so now we can get all our objects in a JSON format but you can imagine that you can use this request in some uh, web application to display all the students in some table and to filter some students and stuff like that so now let's use uh, the pad variable parameter so I will come here 
So now I don't want to get all my students. So I want to get the best student. Students. So here student. So best. And here I will put some pad variable which will be the threshold, the mark threshold or the grade threshold. Grade three short and here to use my pad variable I have to use it in the argument of my method so here pad variable it will be uh, integer and the value will be for example gray tree short that's all and here I will um, here I have all my students and I will filter my student to get all uh, the student which the mark is superior to the great threshold so here stream uh, filter then here I, I have to put some predicate so student student so student get mark get grade must be superior to or equal to the grade threshold then i will collect my result so collect in a list so collector to list so i have filtered the result of the student so here best students so here I have transformed my list to a stream then I have filtered my stream by this predicate then I have collected my stream the result you can also just put this here but no yeah it's working And um, I can also just return this directly. Or it's best to, so here it's uh, must clear and must readable, more readable. So now let's test our pad variable. So here I have to change the URL student best. And here I have to put the great th threshold, which is a primitive integer. So best, and here I will put 10, for example. Uh, I have to run my application. Uh, so here we are using pad variable. And in pad variable, we are just passing a value to the URI, URI uh, of uh, our REST call, of our REST request. So my application is just started. So send, and here I have the result. So these are the best students. Mad Max was a good student. So Mad Max and Dave. And for example, you won't find uh, Clem, for example, because the grad of Clem is eight and it's lower than the threshold, which is 10. For example, if the, ten, the threshold was uh, eight, so we'll find Clem. Clem is just here. So now uh, let's change Let's change the name of this variable. So here, gray threshold, for example, I just want threshold. I don't have any compilation error. Here I have a threshold and I am filtering my result based on the threshold. Then run. And here I have an exception, missing pad variable exception because uh, spring mvc don't find 
the path variable great threshold because the name is different but if you put the same name as in the URI URI uh, it will work so now it will be working I have my student so the name must match uh, of the the name of the path variable argument must match with the path variable in the uh, URI or you can also uh, just put some value here great threshold and here you can change this to threshold so now the name of the argument of uh, the pad variable parameter is not the same as the name of the pad variable in the URI but it will be working why because we have put we have added the name of the pad variable here so send so now it's working there is no problem but if you delete this we'll get an error that's why we put the same name here in the method signature so now it's working and let's get the worst students so to get the worst student I have just to put that just here so student worst get worst student here I have a great threshold and I will change this to lower than great threshold so here I have my best student the threshold is 10 I have 4 I ha of my best student and here if I change this to worst here I have the worst student uh, but there is a problem a student can be worst and the best if the, um, the grade is equal to 10 like Dave so to solve this I want uh, check on equal grade so now the filter is more more clean is more fair so worst than best that I have my best student here so we have just used pad variable just here but we can also use uh, request param for example here I will just change this to request param just here so I have to delete this because the big difference between pad variable and request param is that pad variable is always in the URI but uh, the request param is not in the URI it's a parameter of the request so I will delete my pad variable just here I have my request param here great threshold and let's get the best student so now it's uh, it won't work because we don't have pad variable here so to work with request param we can we can do it uh, you, you, we, we can do it in postman just here we come to body form data and here I can give him the name of my request param so great threshold and here the value 10 for example so run and now I have my result very simple and it's the same um, so it's working the same as in pad variable and we can do the same for the war student just here so we'll delete this we'll transform the pad variable to request param in the method signature 
and that's all so here I will transform this to worst student so here I have a great threshold run and here I have my worst student clear claim and Simon and there is also some difference between pad variable and request param for example to upload a file um, it's a complex stuff so I don't think you can do it with pad variable you have to use some request param for um, for complex stuff and also for um, it depends on the design of your application and how you handle different calls in your front end uh, it depends on that if you are using if you uh, use uh, pad variable or request param so that's all for uh, today i hope you appreciate appreciate the the tutorial and uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and see you next time for more tutorial Thank you.